guys, Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I want to prophetically decree that before Jesus returns, he's not coming back for a broke, busted, and disgusted bride. Friends, the body of Christ, the church, the bride of Christ is going to be triumphant, march in unison. I don't know how the Lord's going to do it. It's really none of my business. I just want to cooperate with the Lord and with heaven. I want to warn you of people that are always very critical of the church, overtly critical of ministers of the gospel. They'll go on YouTube and uncover ministers all the time, mention names. And the funny thing is it could be like some dude sitting on his cell phone in his living room and he's criticizing and criticizing someone a world and a nation shaker, like a guy that's been in ministry 30, 40, 50 years, that's plowed. You know, it's absurd. Now, if someone's an absolute heretic and they've gone off the rails, you know, the Lord can and will correct them. He does use people. But we've got to make sure it's our assignment that the Lord gives us. And most of the time, these people, the Lord has not given them that assignment. They're overtly critical. There's a, there's a lumber yard in their own eye. They're trying to get the speck out of their brother or sister's eye, and there's a lumber yard in their own. You know, I see things that aren't right sometimes. I don't agree with certain ministers or ministries. I don't go on YouTube and stuff. But I've never done it. I've never mentioned one minister, one minister's name or a minister's name. The Lord hasn't called me to do it. Especially if a minister falls from grace. I don't I don't not happy about that. David said when Saul fell, he said, I'm not don't shout it from the rooftops. I'm not gonna go on YouTube where a minister's fallen in adultery or fell into sin and start blasting out and bla now I, I you could do it as maybe a learning experience and saying, Hey, we gotta be careful we don't fall, but let me get into this, friends. Ephesians 5.25. By the way, it'd be an honor if you subscribe to the channel. I want to put the link in the comment section to a video I did some years ago. Someone put graphics to the video, almost like a movie. I want your opinion on it. The title of the show is called Loves the Language of Heaven. It's a powerful message in its entirety anyway, but someone put like movie-type cartoon graphics. It's pretty cool. Ephesians 5.25, husbands love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and grave gave himself for it. How much should husbands love their wives? As much as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. If you want your men of, men of God that are married out there, if you want your wife to submit to you, okay, with reverence and honor you, then love her the way Jesus loved the church. And when you love her the way Jesus loved the church, she'll do anything for you, man. Verse that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. How is Jesus going to set apart the church, sanctify it, sanctification? By the washing of the water by the word. Verse 27, Ephesians 5 that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be without that it should be holy and without blemish. Lord somehow has this Holy Ghost spot remover, takes the wrinkles out of the wedding dress of Jesus. He's going to present it to himself, blameless, holy, without blemish. Let me read this of Isaiah 54, 5. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He has called the God of it to the whole earth. Look at this. Isaiah 62, 5. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. As the bridegroom rejoices over the bride so shall your God rejoice. God's going to rejoice. God loves the church. He loves his people. He loves the body. Now, he does correct us. He does correct the church. He does admonish, tweak, align, bring into alignment like a Holy Ghost chiropractor. He did it in Revelations in the first few chapters. 
He said, you're doing this right, but nevertheless, I have this against you because God wants what's best. Now, let me say this. If anyone was ever caught in any type of sin or minister or even not, that's the mercy and grace of God. God allowed that to be uncovered because ultimately it was going to get so bad the person might have really gone off the rails completely and not did anything about it as far as getting deliverance, help, repentance. He might have spent eternity in hell separated from God for who knows how, you know, it just, who knows, man. Hey, the Lord bless you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Let's pray for the church, man, out before I close. Father, we're praying for your bride, the church. You love the church. You love your bride. You love your people. You love the ecclesia. You love the children of God. You love your sons. You love your daughters. Father, I'm asking the church to be strengthened that you love, that it will be presented to you without spot and wrinkle, without blemish, holy, sanctified, set apart, moving in power, moving in glory, the bride of Christ. The Lord bless you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Check out that video I did with the graphics. Blessings in Jesus' name.